So, uh, so yeah, speaking uh, of an experience I had when I was a, a young child, um, I came home excited from school, explaining to my folks that it was going to be my turn to, to lead the Pledge of Allegiance, and I was told no. And I didn't understand that right away. Um, uh, I didn't understand, you know, because everybody else was doing it in the class. And, and so, you know, I had waited all year for it to be my turn to stand up in front of the rest of the class and lead the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, then I was given a short history lesson, and uh, part of that lesson was how the meaning of the American flag uh, was not the same for everybody in that classroom. And more specifically, what it meant for our people and uh, how in certain circumstances it could be viewed as a sign of oppression to our people. And so uh, I left uh, that day knowing that I didn't have to, but I was free to do lead the Pledge of Allegiance if I wanted to. So um, when my, my day came at school, I chose not to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. And um, so I was then promptly sent to the principal's office for not wanting to participate in, in the Pledge of Allegiance with the rest of the students. Um, but, you know, again, that's just an early experience that I can recall. And it wasn't until later on in my life that I had an opportunity to speak with one of my uncles um, because, uh, as you know, you know my family, um, I've had uh, numerous veterans um, in my family throughout the entire history of this country. And so one of the ones who was a career veteran, uh, you know, I asked him, I said, well, what, you know, why, why do you do what you do? You know, I, I, I'm confused, I don't understand. If the United States came in and they imposed everything on us, they took so many things away from us, why do you then proudly serve in their armed forces? And he said to me, he said, you know, um, the, the first time around when we had people coming in, we didn't stand up like we should have. We didn't stand up like we should have, and it put our people in a position that we are today back then. And so he said, I'm going to do my part to make sure that I can do whatever I can to protect our people today and make sure that our, our area and our land and our beliefs are protected today. And so that, you know, really resonated with me and uh, uh, really, you know, really helped me understand, you know, his perspective as a Potawatomi man serving the United States military.